about 14% of people experience constipation at some point. Fortunately, certain foods can help relieve constipation via a variety of mechanisms. So here are five foods that can help keep you regular as shown by scientific evidence. Number one, prunes. Dried plums, also known as prunes, are widely used as a treatment for constipation. They contain high amounts of fiber with two grams of fiber per one ounce or 28 gram serving, or about three prunes. The insoluble fiber in prunes, known as cellulose, increases the amount of water in the stool, which adds bulk. In addition, prunes contain sorbitol. This sugar alcohol is not absorbed well by the body, causing water to be pulled into the colon and leading to a laxative effect in a small number of people. Finally, prunes also contain uh, phenolic compounds that stimulate beneficial gut bacteria. This has been hypothesized to contribute to their laxative effect. One study in 40 people with constipation found that eating 100 grams of prunes per day significantly improved stool frequency and consistency compared to treatment with psyllium, which is a type of dietary fiber. Number two, kiwi fruit. You can get about 2.3 grams of fiber per kiwi fruit, about 76 grams each, which is 9% of the recommended daily intake. Now, while it's not the most of all fruits, there's a lot of evidence kiwis can help with constipation. This study found that eating two kiwi fruits daily for four weeks resulted in more spontaneous bowel movements, a reduction in laxative use, and overall increased satisfaction with bowel habits. Another study gave 54 people with irritable bowel syndrome two kiwi fruits per day for four weeks. At the end of the study, participants reported increased frequency of bowel movements and faster colonic transit times. Now, it's not just the fiber in kiwi that's thought to be beneficial. There is an enzyme called actinidine, and this is thought to be one of the main reasons why it can help with bowel motility. Number three, apples. Apples are rich in fiber. Uh, actually, one medium apple contains about 4.4 grams of fiber, which is 17% of the recommended daily intake. Approximately 2.8 grams of that fiber is insoluble, and 1.2 grams is soluble, mostly in the form of the dietary fiber called pectin. Now, in the gut, pectin is rapidly fermented by bacteria to form short-chain fatty acids, which pull water into the colon, softening the stool and decreasing gut transit time. One study in 80 people with constipation found that pectin can accelerate the movement of the stool through the intestines, improve symptoms of constipation, and increase the number of beneficial bacteria in the gut. Number four, pears. Pears are another fruit rich in fiber. There's about 5.5 grams of fiber in a medium-sized um, pear, and that's 22% of the recommended daily fiber intake. Now, alongside the fiber benefits, pears are particularly high in fructose and sorbitol compared to other fruits. Fructose is a type of sugar that's poorly digested by some people. So in those instances, uh, it makes its way to the gut undigested and pulls some water in, and this can lead to a laxative effect. Number five, figs. Figs are actually a great way to increase fiber intake and improve bowel habits, and not that many people know about it. One medium-sized raw fig, or about 50 grams, contains 1.6 grams of fiber. But half a cup of dried figs contains 7.3 grams of fiber, which is almost 30% of your daily requirements. Figs also contain an enzyme similar to the enzyme actinidine found in kiwi fruit. Now, this may be responsible for its positive effects on bowel function alongside uh, its high fiber content. A study in 40 people with constipation found that taking uh, 10 ounces or 300 grams of fig paste per day for 16 weeks helped speed up colonic transit, uh, improved stool consistency, and alleviated stomach discomfort. In addition to these foods, it's vital to drink plenty of water. Keep in mind that your water requirements will go up as your fiber intake increases. Regular exercise is also a critical component for overcoming constipation and improving uh, general gut health. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.